Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. In this study, we will discuss about experiment 1A, which is the transfer of electrons at a distance. There are two parts to this experiment. In the first part, we will look at the redox reaction. The material used are iron 2 sulfate solution, acidified potassium manganese 7 solution, and sulfuric acid. Iron 2 sulfate solution is green. The main ions contained in the solution are iron 2 ions and sulfate ions. The important ion here is the iron 2 ion, which is a reducing agent that is an electron donor. Sulfate ions are spectator ions, they are not involved in the reaction. Potassium manganate 7 solution is purple. The main ions contained in the solution are potassium ions and manganate 7 ions. The important ion here is the manganate 7 ion, which is an oxidizing agent. There is an electron acceptor. The arrangement of the apparatus is as shown. The U-tube is filled with sulfuric acid first, followed by iron 2 sulfate solution and acidified potassium manganate 7 solution. Carbon electrodes are attached and secured with rubber stoppers. The wires are connected to the galvanometer. Colors of the solutions and the conditions of the galvanometer pointer are recorded. The switch is then closed and the changes that take place are observed. The deflected galvanometer pointer indicates there is electrical current flow. The green color of the solution gradually turns brown. The purple color of the solution is also fading. The decreasing deflection of the galvanometer pointer indicates a decreasing current flow. This is due to the decreasing concentration of the reactants. At the end of the reaction, it can be observed that the green color of the iron 2 sulfate solution has changed to brown. The purple color of the potassium manganate 7 solution has become colorless. The arm of the YouTube Mark X was filled with iron 2 sulfate solution. There are iron 2 ions in the solution as can be observed. Sulfate ions do not react, so these ions are ignored. The arm of the YouTube Mark Y was filled with acidified potassium manganese 7 solution. It contains manganate 7 ions. Potassium ions do not react, so these ions are also ignored. There are also hydrogen ions from the acid that are added to the potassium manganate 7 solution to make it acidic. The salt bridge contains hydrogen ions and sulfate ions from sulfuric acid. These ions do not react, so these ions are also ignored. When the switch is closed, the iron 2 ions release electrons and form iron 3 ions. Manganese 7 ions accept electrons to form manganese 2 ions. Oxygen are removed to react with hydrogen to form water. The ions in the salt bridge move because there is a potential difference on the two parts of the U-tube. This completes the electrical circuit of the cell. Without the movement of ions in the salt bridge, the chemical reaction we just observed would not have taken place.
iron 2 ions release electrons to form iron 3 ions. Manganese 7 ion takes 5 electrons to form the manganese 2 ion. 8 hydrogen ions form 4 molecules of water with oxygen. A sample of the solution from the arm of the YouTube Mark X is taken and put into a test tube. A few drops of 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter sodium hydroxide solution are added to the sample. A brown precipitate formed in the test tube. The precipitate is iron-3 hydroxide. 